Hi, let's get started working with Sensatouch 2.0 by creating a very simple Hello World application. To begin with, I have downloaded the Sensatouch library from Sensatouch.com site. I have extracted the library to C colon inetwork www root of my machine. This particular folder now contains all the basic JS files, the style sheets, the documentation, few examples etc. All we are going to be using is the resources folder which contains the CSS files, the themes, the images and we are going to use the source, the JSRC folder which contains a core JS files and finally a JS file that is sensatouch all.js that's a master JS file. In our application, we are going to use these three entities, resources, source and sensatouch all.js. I'm going to use Visual Studio for developing this Hello World application. You can use editors like Eclipse or NetBeans. All you need to do is create a web application and get started working with Sensor. I've created a web application here. Let me include those three items from the Sensor library by creating a new folder call it touch copy these three items inside the touch folder paste it there we go also let's start by creating a very simple html page i'll call it index.html have the index.html file here which includes the core css file that is sensor-touch.css to our page, let's include the JS file that is in chart hyphen touch hyphen all dot JS file. We are all set now to type in our hello world code. Let's open a new script tag and start typing our code. The starting point of any sensor application is ext dot application. Application is a function present in the global class ext which accepts certain configuration parameters as argument. There are a lot of parameters. One of that we are interested in right now is a property called launch which I am going to map to a function it is going to have alert hello world. What happens when you run this code? ext.application basically creates an object of the class ext.app.application. It loads all the core JS files, all the classes and finally calls the launch function. This is very similar to body onload equal to init that we write in a lot of these web pages. Let's run this. Right click view in browser. Hello world. We'll talk more about the zxt.amp.application class in the future sessions. As of now, we have zxt.application with a launch function and our initialization code is going to be inside this launch function. You can write it in a much better way by having it as a separate method in it. I'm going to have alert, hello world over here. And let me comment this out. Let's call this init launch. Okay, so what we have done is we have registered this init function with the launch function, launch property. Run this. Hello world. If you want to run this from a mobile device, bring up the browser present in your iPhone or iPad or your Android phones or Blackberries. Type in the URL. Instead of localhost, specify the IP address of this machine and you get your hello world working here.